We've spoken at previous rounds about the Kumo combinations. You know, you get 16 per round. How do you use those? Different widths, compounds, etc. Another thing that you factor in, you don't just bolt them on and leave them on. Eli Evans here just finished one of the stages here in Queensland. Going into another. Eli, you're checking some pressures. Pretty important part of the job for the driver and the co once you're out in the field. Yeah, it is. Um, it's really hot. <laughs> so we've just finished the stage now. We've had 500 metres transport. And then we sit here for 10 minutes. And just uh, in the two minutes we've sat here, my tyres have gone down two psi just with the uh, with them cooling down. So you know, tyre pressures are they're everything. It, if your tyre pressure is too high, um, your tyre doesn't move around as much, and you feel like you're getting less grip, and you feel like the car's not in the road. You bring them down a little bit, all of a sudden, suspension, everything works better, and the car is in the road and it gives you confidence. But of course, not too low because you know they can cause an issue in regards to punches. And also, it's a bit of a guarded secret between drivers on exactly what you find as an optimum temperature, isn't it? Yeah, and look, it varies between cars as well. Like if I was running a four-wheel drive turbocharged car, I might be a couple of psi higher. But in this little Citroen DS3, which weighs 1150, it's it's a couple of hundred kilos lighter. So we run the tyre pressures a little bit lower, generate a little bit more heat, and get a bit more out of them. It's not just about driving and co-driving, is it? <laughs> no, there's a bit of an art to it, and. Um, Tire pressures were well, the only they're the only things touching the road, um, so it's pretty important.